Hi everybody, it's Barry, and this is another edition of the stuff I watched on Amazon Prime. I'm bringing movie reviews to you now, um, some stuff that's streaming free, mostly on Amazon. I'll try and do some others um, here and there, but Amazon Prime is a treasure trove of weird stuff. I watch it all the time and drive everyone here nuts with it. <laughs> so, without further ado, here is the thing that I watched on Amazon Prime. Gut Boy. That's right, Gut Boy. Yeah. Gut Boy, a bad time story, actually. This was actually released in 2017. This is pretty recent, um, for me, anyway. And, you know, as soon as you see this on the opening screen, that you're in for a wild ride, or at least a weird one. That's right, this comes from Troma. Now, I don't think that they specifically made it. Like, it's not set in Tromaville, or Toxie's not a character, or anything like that. But they produced it I suppose um, while the filmmaker went to them and said hey I got an idea and they're like great do it yeah whenever this guy's involved though it's gonna get weird so gut boy so I started watching this it's about a this is a flayed man who meets a mermaid and gets revenge by pranking people to death I thought that sounds odd and interesting and I started up and there's a marionette puppet that comes on stage and tells jokes to the crowd until he dies and is replaced by other marionette puppets. The entire thing is puppets. I did not know that going in, but it works. And there are these weird puppets. Look at these things. Like hollow eyes, <clears throat> barely any face to speak of. And you can see the strings the whole time. Like they don't make any illusion that these aren't puppets. So, yeah, it's a puppet movie, and it's about an hour and a half long puppet movie. Now, there are humans in this movie. There are two of them, and they are giants because the other characters are puppets, and they're on screen with them. They're the golden giants, and this guy sits in his bathtub, is bathed by his servant while he watches them wrestle. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> so... It's weird. Gut Boy loses his skin at the beginning. He's a naked fisherman. He likes to fish in the nude. And a guy buys his skin and then rips him off and then steals his fishing pole because he's now wearing his skin and his fingerprints match it. It's stupid. I know who fingerprints a fishing pole, but he needs revenge. And the mermaid offers him a wish, and his wish is to actually marry this, the sheriff's daughter, which kind of makes her mad because she wants to marry Gut Boy. So, things happen, eventually they get revenge on everyone, and they sail off on their new yacht that they kind of stole. All in all, it's it's a weird thing to watch, but it's good. It's a good story. The The puppet work's actually really good, and they do some shadow puppet stuff too, um, here and there. Kind of like dark, like black drawings, pen drawings on acetate or something with a backlight and then they move the acetate around and it's got stuff on it and it moves around. It's kind of like shadow puppetry. Um, which that, that was a nice little change of pace here and there, but for the most part it's marionette puppets doing things to each other. Murder, switching brains, tearing off skin, um, you know, shoving fish into teapots, things like that. It's not that the puppets are creepy. Like, it's not a horror film. <clears throat> this is not a horror film. The puppets are a little creepy. And especially the ones with no eyes. Which is most of the puppets. Almost nobody has eyes in this. Except for Gut Boy. And like the girl Sophia. And the Gut Girl. No, no, sorry. Gut Girl does not have eyes. The other girl with no skin has eyeballs. And the, the two people, obviously. Um, it's almost like the protagonists... The good guys are the only ones with eyes. Everybody else has these hollow holes in their head. And they look kind of like a skeleton with some skin on them. Maybe that's, that's the way it was intended. Maybe the guys with no eyeballs were supposed to be the bad guys. All along. Even, you know, the town clerk and everybody else. All the random hookers and stuff like that. Yeah, there are hook there's puppet hookers. There are puppet hookers. Maybe that's the way that they intended it. Just no eyeballs means bad guy. But, like, not all of them were terrible people or anything. But they weren't the main focused heroes. The heroes have eyeballs. 
that's how you pick them out. So I'd say I'm gonna start a rating system for these, so so I don't just say, oh yeah, this is a good one, this wasn't. Um, if I had to give it like something out of ten, I'd probably say a solid seven. Like it, it was a good watch, even though it was weird. The weirdness, especially with like the giant wrestling scenes and stuff like that. It, it's limited to a few minutes at a time. The rest of it is just this wacky story. And the story's not bad. It, it's actually kind of like a bedtime story told to a guy on stage. Um, so it's it's a story. And it's got, you know, I learned magic because I was on the bottom of the ocean for 15 years. Like, weird stuff like that happens because it's a fairy tale. It was a fairy tale told with creepy marionette puppets. And there's a ton of murder and... <laughs> <laughs> and stuff like that in it. So, <clears throat> I'd say so, uh, solid 7 out of 10 for this. I would definitely watch it again. I've actually watched it twice already. So, go check it out. Um, see what else you can find on Amazon Prime. Um, if you want me to review something, like Amazon Prime, Netflix, Disney+, Plus, HBO Max, and then the free services like Tubi and I think Peacock and those things. Um, I can review anything on there. Uh, provided I can get to it. Um, so if it's something that's only available, you know, in one country in the world or something, or you just can't see it in America, then that's off the table. But talk to me in the comments uh, or facebook.com slash bury the movie demon and let me know if you want to see me talk about something or if you want to just subject my eyeballs to some horrible thing. Um, I like those too. <laughs> I'm going to be reviewing a few of those here shortly after I finish the next couple that I've already watched. Until next time, this is Barry the Movie Demon, saying I'll see you at the movies. Have a good evening.